What is going on, everybody? Straight Kraken here with my 16th, 17th, excuse me for a second here, my 17th episode of my Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke Challenge. Yay! So, off screen, I drained some. My Karama's fucking huge now. Because, from what I've heard, Erica is a bitch. So, I'd really like Karama to be really strong. Um, it'd be really nice to get Totem up there too, because a lot of grass types are also poison. And flying also works very well against grass types. So, in case she has something crazy like um, you know, a Ludicolo or something, which is part water type and can really screw over poor Karama here. <clears throat> It'd be very nice to have some sort of alternative, but ideally I will have all of my Pokemon trained. So, um, I also did, I got Psychic. I got Psychic from Mr. Psychic in Saffron. For anybody who doesn't know, in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, instead of just giving the guards to Saffron, uh, just like a fresh water or something, you actually have to go to the Pokemon Mansion where you get Eevee the front entrance and talk to the old woman on the first floor she gives you tea and then you can f give that to the weird guards that all share one drink <coughs> excuse me so um i've decided to put off erica for as long as possible because quite frankly she scares the hell out of me and i was going to go down in this area um route 12 and capture a Pokemon here, because since Brosidon died, I kind of been hurting for a Water type. So I'm gonna take care of that. Let's see what this girl has to say. My Pokemon's ashes. Oh, that's terrible. And I got a little TM. Oh. Okay. Well, if I really want Nine Tails to do a lot of damage, my Karama, who's freaking awesome by the way, probably my favorite Pokemon. If and possibly when Karama dies, I will be the most sad. But he has a, he's been holding a soothe bell for quite a while now, so I'm feeling like he will be pretty beastly. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go down here and train. But before I do that, I'm going to use the good rod here. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I go to the fishing group and get a super rod. So I'm just gonna train, kill some trainers. Some magical leaf, boom, and get the super rod and then catch the Pokemon with that instead of a good rod so it's higher level because I think that makes much more sense. All right, I'm gonna go super crazy fast mode, tentacle, and a quill fish. This guy's Mr. Poison Fish guy, and yeah, so. My two people who actually watch this video, hi guys. Um, <laughs> hey, I've noticed that the production of these videos has slowed down to a sluggish pace. Quite because I'm kind of lazy. I kind of like hit a wall where I kind of like need to do a lot of training. And I don't like doing that. Tell me somebody who's like, you know what I really love? I love training my Pokemon so much. Instead of just going through the game. Also, I've been spam playing my favorite game League of Legends like you wouldn't believe and I just haven't been playing this very often so it's been a little slow Ooh, Dragon Rage that's pretty cool I guess but yeah so that's why the videos haven't been coming out that frequently um, I will try to speed them back up to like one a day maybe so like if I actually have a regular video schedule, I might be able to build a solid subscriber base. But yes, I will try. And I apologize for not delivering there. Anyway, here's a couple over here. Uh, I'm going to put Totem in Dunda. And I realize immediately that I cannot get the Super Rod. If, I, if we win, I will marry you, they say. Oh my goodness. That is, I'm sorry, I'm texting because I'm going to say screw it. I'm just going to try to catch Pokemon here. Oh, and I want to know what to name it. 
So boom, take out that Nitto King like, like instantly, like a beast. I got that Synchro. Take out this Nitto Queen like crazy. And oh wow, um, I guess I was fully paralyzed, which is awful. Totem God level. Oh, Future Sight. What has that? I have 80 power. Not worth it. Yeah, I would stop learning that. So, Jess, you're silly. You ruined this. Oh, Gia, forgive me. Oh, wow. They're so devastated that some random kid just came and beat them in a Pokemon battle. That doesn't seem like a very romantic or good life. If, like, some random kid's just beating you. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just use the good rod right here and see what my first Pokemon that I can catch is. Not even a nibble. I'm going to use these couple as a good luck charm. And the first Pokemon that I can catch on Route 12 is a Magikarp. I already caught a Magikarp, so no. I refuse. No Magikarp for me. Pokemon's on the hook. And is a horsey. Okay. I will take that. I will... I mean, I will take that. But, um... The re I play Nuzlocke where... You can get different types. Because... Imagine if you found, like... Every single time you tried to fish, you found a Magikarp. And, you know, then you'd have, like, 20 Magikarps in your box. And you'd be like, what the hell, man? I don't, like, actually like Magikarp. And I don't want any of these. And then it's just bad. Nobody, Nobody actually wants that. The viewers don't watch that, don't want that. Alright, so this thing is low enough. I'm going to catch this horsey. Probably not give it a nickname just yet. Um, hopefully I can catch it. And I have to know when I started this video, I'll be like, excuse me for a second here. It's gone on for 420 seconds, which is 366, about 7 minutes. So, yeah, 7 minutes, 13, I'll stop at like 8. 13, I suppose. Anyway, give a nickname to the captured horse. Not yet, so since it does not have a nickname, I cannot, I forbid myself from using it until it has a nickname. I guess this will just be like a pointless episode. It's like, oh, here, here's me just training a bunch of Pokemon. What should I name my horsey? Awesome. So this episode actually might be a little short because I just wanted to catch that Pokemon and then realize um, I wanted to catch that Pokemon and then like do everything along that route as like a cool little video. But since I couldn't, this episode might be a bit short, maybe like only 10 minutes long because I don't want to bore you with me training because like... There are a bunch of YouTubers that do Let's Plays and like they'll actually show their training videos because they have interesting things to say during those videos. Like, uh, say Hayden, which is somebody I like. I try to model myself after in terms of Nuzlocke's and Let's Plays because I think he's hilarious. But he does, epi he does Ask Hayden episodes where he answers a bunch of subscriber questions during the filming of his Nuzlocke or his training. I would do that, but I no nobody questions me. Like, I nobody... Oh, so why did you name your Pokemon? They're like, there's no questions for me to answer because nobody really cares that much. So yeah, if if I ever become huge on YouTube, which <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> um, I will actually keep in the training videos. But until then, I'm just gonna do some training. This is this is exactly what I do. Is I just spam. I put the speed up and I just go in the grass and just kill things. It's real exciting stuff I know. But, you know what I can do? Um, I know what I can do productive in this episode. I want to use the bike path because it's a cool area. And I totally went the wrong way. I want to use the bike path. And I actually never got the bike. That that just occurred to me. I was like, hey, I don't actually... Oh, there's a Pokeball over there. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. But anyway, I was going to talk to this guy in the Pokemon fan club and get the bike voucher. And these guys all these Pokemon this chairman. Talk about his Rapidash. I love Rapidash. It's amazing. You cuddle it. And just, this guy's just... This guy got an issue. Anyway. I'm going to go up and... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's a Cedar. That's pretty cool. Quick attack. 
I have cut? I, I do have cut. Wait, wait, whoa, what does this guy have to say? Oh. <laughs> no, Chikorita's actually orphaned. I actually said, you know what, the Chikorita? I hate you so much because that stupid nerd ass scientist gave you to me that I'm going to disown you. So yeah, I might just train along the bike path, you know, just train Totem up because there's psychic Pokemon for days out there. And um that that would be a good way to trade. I also like how this bike voucher gives you about a million dollars worth of value. Because apparently bikes in this game are a million dollars. Or some absurd amount. I forget if it's a million or billion or whatever, but I would love to cut this tree down. Thanks, game. Alright, I'm gonna go to the saffron. I think the, the dojo's open if my Pokemon weren't so weak comparatively. Oh, the Mart's over here. No, no, it's over here. I figured it out. What's over here? Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Oh. They'll one day love me. Get a bunch more of these. Yeah, get some full heals. Like 10. Uh, max repels might be useful. If I want to manipulate the system, like later in the game, if I feel really feel like catching legendary, I can't foresee me using legendaries because like that's that's just so easy. But if, if later in the game, when I, if I want to do that, you know, like be a complete turd and just be like, hey, I'm gonna catch his legendaries. I'm just gonna use repels so I don't find any Pokemon here. And, oh look, legendary one was my first Pokemon here. Heard it here. If you really just want to like be a turd like that. Oh, I can't go to the bike path either. That stupid Snorlax is in the way. And I want to, I really want to beat Erica before the Pokemon Tower. Freaking Snorlax. It's pissing me off. What level are these Pokemon? BT dubs. 27. Oh, this is actually much better training. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to train some more here. Nothing much to say. Just me. Wow. All right. So Gulpin has some pretty decent special defense. All right, maybe this isn't that great. Yeah, this isn't that great at all. Okay, I think the best patch for grass to train in actually is over here, because there's a pretty there's a decent chance that you find like dust ox. Yeah, Roselia's give decent experience. Like uh yeah five sixty. It's like double what I was getting before. Uh, you also can find beautifies, dust oxes, and ledians in here. Uh, fun story. Um, I was training around this area, and I caught a shiny Ledian, but I forgot to save on my VBA, so I never actually kept it. It was pretty upsetting. I even took a video of me catching the shiny Ledian, but... I don't have it anymore because I didn't get to save because I'm a nub. All right, so I'm gonna like super train Karama. Like even if Erica has a Ludicolo, I feel like I can just brute force the shit out of it with like just a normal stab flamethrower. So yeah, if I can, if I feel like Karama is just beastly enough, I can probably just one shot everything. Um, yeah. So there's that. She probably has something else that I have to worry about, so I kind of want everybody else at like 35. There's a Butterfree. Man, alright, so yeah, I guess the reason I haven't been putting out that many episodes is mostly because... After Giovanni killed two of my dudes, I've just been like so... I was so sad, I was like, I don't, I have to train two more dudes up. Here's a Ledian, it's not shiny. But I had to train two more dudes up. I got Santa, but like Umbreon's really annoying to train because he hits like a wuss. Like, oh my god, his it doesn't do any damage. Like Umbreon tanks like a beast, but there's just no damage at all. But the Umbreon will prove to be incredibly valuable against Sabrina's gym because Focus Blast isn't a thing yet. So I don't have to worry about that. And I don't think they have, like, what is what, what does Alakazam learn that can actually, like, hurt an Umbreon? Nothing. That's, that's, ugh, that's the answer. My real question is, I have no idea 
what on earth Sabrina can have other than like psychic Pokemon. You know, like Brock had his Vulpix, which I guess a water type killed that too. But anyway, he had his Vulpix, Misty had her Togetic. Then Surge didn't actually have anything. Did he? In like a Magneton, which was had levitate. Whoa. But yeah, I, have, I don't know what Erica, Erica has. I'm going to get my Karamba 40. See how long this episode's been going on. I'll just do it right now. It's 8.07. Uh, yeah, it's been going around 15 minutes. Not not really 15 minutes, but like 13 minutes or whatever. So yeah, Karamba's level 40. It's pretty beast. That was that Soothe Bell. Almost has 100 special defense and speed, which is pretty fast. There's Totem, Santa Pimp, Dunda. And this Horsey that doesn't have a nickname yet. It'll probably have a nickname sometime in next episode. I don't know. I should also find out when you get Kingdra. I might do that. Yeah, actually, I'm going to bring that up right now. Um... I feel really weird opening the internet in the middle of the video, but like, whatever. Uh, free webs. Here we go. King Dra. Level 44. Alright, so in this game, you get King Dra when Horsey reaches level 44. And Seedra, I think, is like 23, something like that. So that's pretty chill. Uh, I could definitely deal with that. But I'm going to end the episode here because it's very boring for you to just watch me spam this grass and kill things with cut. Man, Nidro King is terrible for this area. Like, what do I have again? Oh, rock slide, I guess. Alright, you got me, game. But what do I have against this? When in doubt, rock slide. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys for episode 18. Yeah, 18. And during that, I will take on the Celadon Gym and Erica. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, I just used Dig. Anyway, peace. <laughs>